Dr. Jonas Musto. Hi guys, so here we are again. It's another ECQ. So let's stay relaxed and sit back and um, be safe. No? So, bagong set up. Kasi ano tayo ngayon eh. Para at least iba naman, no? So this is a Q&A. So I'm gonna answer some questions like what's the difference between composite and porcelain? You can both uh, get the natural looking appearance with a composite material, with uh, Emax porcelain. They're both a confidence booster and also it's natural looking but when it comes to luster it's really more lustrous using the emax porcelain because of its process okay and it can last longer of course and it's more durable so in our clinic we use lithium desalicate or the brand is Emax. So the process, it's uh, we place it under 720 degrees Celsius or more, and we place it in a furnace or the oven. So while on the um, composite, it's uh, light polymerization, okay? Intense blue light. That's how we make the material hardened. So with composite material, it's prone to breakage or chipping off it's because of its process it's it's not as intense as compared to porcelain so based on the literature and my own experience emax or lithium desalicate is far more superior in terms of durability okay when it comes to stain uh, resistant ability we are looking at porcelain it's because it's impermeable we do a uh, glazing to close all the uh, spaces there that would cause any stain while on the composite it's uh, permeable it can be easily stained it's because of its nature and the process as well so if you love coffee wine or tea then porcelain is for you because it's stain resistant and can last longer For Emax porcelain, we need to have an assessment and after we're done with the assessment and all, then we will prepare it. That's the first appointment. And then we have to wait for at least a week for the fabrication of the Emax porcelain. And then after a week, we will try it in. If it's okay, then we will cement it permanently. If hindi pa, then we'll have to wait another few more days to be able to cement it. And then we will need a follow-up checkup for balancing and occlusion and also removal of some excess cement. So around three to four appointments for the Emax porcelain. While on the direct composite veneers, during the day, like after the assessment and we will start it, the next meeting will have to do some a little bit of uh, polishing and um, balancing as well. So about two appointments for direct composite films. For the teeth preparation for Emax porcelain, usually I uh, administer a local anesthesia because we will remove some part of the teeth and especially the enamel area and sometimes there's extension that would hit the or be able to reach the dentin area. It really depends on the severity of the case and as well as the design, okay? While on the red composite veneers, usually no need for anesthesia because it's no prep to minimal prep. So it really depends on the case. If let's say, okay, there's an extension of caries on the dentin area, so we have to remove all those. But in um, ideal preparation for the red composite, there is no need for preparation na heavy or if we can place in directly the composite we can do that 
if you want a long-term solution for restoration or be able to enhance the appearance of the teeth, so porcelain would be the perfect um, material for you because it can last 5 years, 10 years or more. It really depends on how you take care of it but it's a long-term uh, solution to dental problems. While the composite it is a short-term or mid-term solution, it can last like around 2 years to 5 years or it can last longer but it requires a lot of retouches. You have to retouch it every six months because of its nature that it's easily be uh, chipped off. That's why it's a solution for simple to midterm or short term to midterm. While on the Emacs, that's the long term. So the cost difference is huge. With, uh, with porcelain, it's much more expensive as compared to direct composite. So if like you are on a budget and you want to have a confident and beautiful smile, then you can go with direct composite veneers. So after having the direct composite veneers, you can actually upgrade it after a few years, okay? Just to make sure that you have the feel, the design that you want for you, then it's always upgradable. So the difference between the two materials is first, with composite it is permeable, it, is, uh, it can be easily applied, but it's less durable and it can be stained. While on the porcelain, it is impermeable, it is natural looking, it is more durable, and it is stain resistant. So both of these materials can be replaced, of course, okay? So don't worry if there's any problem with the material because there's always a solution for that. If you have any questions, you can contact us with our social media accounts and also strictly by appointment.